Yo, what is up everybody and welcome back to another week the TGC Tours Challenge Circuit Course Guide. This is week number 23. This is the Bushwood Open and you all are playing at the Scarlet Dunes Golf Club. Hopefully you all have had a good weekend so far as it's coming to a close and I hope you all are ready for another week of absolutely dominating the challenge circuit. I do want to say about Scarlet Dunes Golf Club, I almost thought about taking a longer bag into this, but I've been really enjoying this full bag of Titleist, so I'm just going to stick to it. The reason why I wanted to maybe potentially take a longer bag in is because this course is sometimes painfully long. There are a ton of long par 4s, par 3s, Scorable par fives, but everything else in between is a little bit on the difficult side to score on, as you will see as we go through our round today. Before we get out of the course, for the guide, I just want to say if you do end up enjoying this video, don't forget to leave a like on the video. Helps the video out, helps the channel out, helps me out, and I'd greatly appreciate it. Also, if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, that way you are notified every time a video goes live. Let's head out, Scarlet Dunes Golf Club. Let's get this week 23 guide started, and let's hopefully shoot a good round. This course also does have some blow-up holes that you gotta look out for. And they're, they kinda, I mean, they stick out, so... You'll see. Super long course, though. It is actually imperative for a lot of the holes, which I didn't hear, but it is imperative for a lot of the holes to get it into the fairway. Because uh, hitting from the rough, you're pretty much going to be... You're going to be just playing for par at that point in time. So it's very important to, to get it uh, into the fairway to start off the tee. Like this, we would have been able to go for the green here and have an eagle shot. Uh, especially with this big sprawling green, we, we would have had a, a very good chance of getting it up here and uh, potentially getting ourselves an eagle. But uh, I unfortunately put it into the rough and we lose that chance. See if we can at least make this for birdie. Perfect. Uh, you will notice that on some of these holes, though, even if you have like a 50 footer, there's really on some of these holes, there's really actually not that much of break. So you can you can make some some eagles, some birdies uh, because of that, which is nice. I mean, that is, you know, part of why the course is scorable, but. The other part is it's just it's just long. It is it is a very very long course. Also, I've been really liking this Titleist driver. Uh going into a headwind, it really eats distance off, but you get the wind at your back. Whoo, you loft that thing up into the wind, that thing soars. It's 11 degree. Uh this is one of those big sprawling greens that I'm talking about. So, you can hit it really Anywhere in here, anywhere in this region is a makeable putt. I mean, if you hit it too short, I mean, you're definitely going to have some problems, but honestly, it's like anywhere in this region, it's a makeable putt. Uh, we're going to take it a little short. We do have firm greens, so... We do get some pretty big bounces on these greens. That'll work great though, right there. One thing to keep in mind, firm greens. Also playing from shorter tees, uh, I think it's, is it? No, no, you're playing from the, you're playing from the tips. Is it tips in round one? And then I think it goes to yeah, tips in round one. It's tips in round one, and then the uh, next longest, blue tees for round two, three, and four. So keep that in mind as well. All right. Blow up hole number one. So 
It is slightly protected by sand. This rolls out, though, if you hit it too deep. And if you hit this too firm, you can actually skip it out of the rough and into the water anyways. So what I've been doing is I've just been going center green and uh, just trying to put the ball on the green because I can work with... I can work with, you know, a, a 20, 30 foot putt. I'd rather work with that than go in the water and have a two over, three over hole. So this is what I've been doing. I've just been going center green because I've I've put it into the water a couple of times. I just wanted to see how it, how it uh, ran off if I did, you know, hit a fast. And the reason I aim center green, I mean, look at this green. Even though it's a 30 footer and it happens if you, if you if I put the ball a little bit longer still not that bad of a putt a little bit shorter still not that bad of a putt so I've just been aiming center green here in round one it's just the easiest to do uh, and you have a good shot at making uh, this putt Just like that, we get our birdie. So I mean, that's what that's what I've been doing. Center green, and I think that that's the best route to take, just so you can avoid getting a double triple here, because that's just gonna set back your entire round. All right, fourth fourth hole. You may look at this and be like. Oh, I'll just go for the green. Uh, you can't make it. Even with, uh, I did even a higher wind if you do get northeast winds again. Uh, even with a high wind, you can't make it. And you get a pretty nasty lie down here. Um, so I do not suggest you even put it up there. I suggest you just play it back a little safe. Uh, and take... Take an iron in. Oh, or in this case, a wedge. Easy. Because uh, you can't make it. You just can't make it. It's not, not worth the lie. Especially when you can stick one pretty close. Except we fasted the hell out of it. We're going to have another 30-footer. But again, greens aren't bad, as long as you can stay on this platform. Which is what we're going to try to do. Let's see if we can make it. Pushed it. Might be okay. Another huge putt. My gosh, if we can make if I can make those putts all day, we're gonna have a 17 under round. <laughs> Big putts. Make sure to check out the putting tutorial. <laughs> uh Okay, this hit the green at all costs with this back position and not hit the green hit the fairway at all costs this back position you need to be in the fairway in order to make it there safely um if you end up in the rough this is all heavy rough bunkers aren't good either you'll have a very tough time uh trying to get it up there for a birdie so you really 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 need to hit fairway here um this this kind of this is kind of the jumping point right here as being, you'll see the length of this course now. This is kind of, this 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 hole number five, part four, is kind of the jumping point for that. This course is, this course is, uh, is really long. Very, 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 very long. 
Gonna keep the birdie streak going, though. Oh, wow, that actually broke a little bit of my feet. Darn it. That kind of sucks. Those are birdies that you need to make. Unfortunate. Another thing you're going to end up doing is doing a lot of partials, too. So, you can make it over this and go for it. Uh, I end up in the rough a lot when I do, but... You can definitely uh, try to get it there and try to go for it. I've just been playing this back a little bit. It's a really long second shot, but... Oh, I just made it longer. I'm probably going to have to take a three-wood up here, honestly. It's a very, very long second shot. Yeah, we're going to have to take a three-wood up. I'm going to have to overpower this, too. You do have a little bit of a landing zone, though, so when you hit this and land it, it does funnel back onto... Uh, the green towards the hole. So, I'm going to try to overpower this. See if we can get it up on there. Even if I end up on the right side, I can still hit it down the hill. And we're going to try... to get it up here under the green. This will work. I made that, I made this hole even longer. And that's one of those things where like, like I said, and you're just going to see more and more of it. This course <laughs> is very long. I could have shortened it there, but I'd rather play from the fairway than the rough on this course, especially up a hill. Okay. All right. A little bit of a putt here. Let's see if we can make it. Oof, a little too far right. Maybe even a touch hard. That's okay. We'll take a par there, especially with that bad drive we took. Still at four under. I haven't even been looking at the scores. How have the scores been doing here? Jarmus is 11 under. Flathers is nine. Suggy's eight. Okay. This may look like a blow up hole. Um, and I'm sure it can definitely turn into one with other uh, pin positions. This one though, because it's downhill, you can actually just play this long if you if you really want to. Um, I mean, you can play it short, and then it can become a, a blow pole potentially. I've been just lofting it up and take it into the wind to touch. It's all downhill. It's gonna end up going a little long, but we should we should have. A putt, except I slowed it. Oh, it's gonna turn into a blow pole? No. Usually, even with a slow, I still end up here. This is the first time I've actually ended up down here. Oof. I thought I was gonna eat my own words there. I really thought I was gonna eat my own words. Ooh! Ah, dang. We'll take a par there. That was a lucky par. <laughs> I honestly thought, I'm like, wow, after I just said it's not really that a blow-up pole, I'm going to eat my own words here, but good thing we didn't. I have, I all the practice rounds I've done, I've never ended up in that water. Not a once. But again, if you play it short and try to get spicy with it, you might. All right. The one time that we want to end up down here on the left. Do not want to end up right here on the right. This gets a little saucy. Another one of those holes that can really get you into trouble. Lay up if you don't feel comfortable doing it. But uh, we're going to try to go right at this pin and see if we can get ourselves 
an eagle opportunity. Even if we hit this hill running, it should still be okay and hold. Oh, Jesus. Here we go. Got lucky. That could have absolutely turned into one. Right when I said, potential for a blow up hole, and here I am, almost doing it. That'll work. At least get our birdie. Like I said in the intro, scorable par fives. Every single one of them are pretty scorable. It's just the par fours, you get into trouble if you go off the beaten path. We're gonna loft this sucker up into the wind a little bit. We're gonna watch this thing soar. 324 carry. Even with a slight fade. And we still have a buck 66 to go. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. If you play this safe and play it back, you're bringing a three wood up. Just, uh... This is actually probably one of the longest courses I've played in a minute. Not when we're knocking in eagles. Oh, come on. <laughs> I thought uh, I thought it was on the track. A six under front, I think, is actually my best though. I think this is my best front nine. I really do love this course though. It's long, painfully sometimes, but at the end of the day, it's still a really, really good course. Ugh. Off the beaten path. Instantly, it becomes long. Look at this. Par, par 4. Went off the beaten path. 241 yards. 241. We have to go. Eh. I'll play this safe. We'll just try to get our... We'll just try to get our uh, up and down for par here. This is why I thought about bringing in, like, five wood, three wood, getting rid of one of the short irons, nine iron maybe. I thought about it. Three wood, five wood, three iron. Do something in between. Honestly, I've just I've been loving these Titleist clubs so far. Doing a full bag. Driver, except the three iron. I still have the zero sum, but driver, three wood, um, irons, wedges. Actually drop a bogey here. That's a bummer. It's a bad way to start off the bag. Another par five, another scorable par five. Thing moves. Let's get it up there for an eagle. Wind. I'll have a good chance. <laughs> it actually went off. God dang it. Uh, do I want to putt this? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Do I want to putt this? No, I don't. 
play a chip here. It's downhill. Ah, I shorted my shot. Another birdie, though. Birdie on all the par fives, which is good. Still got one more to go, too. Use the sloping to your advantage. Okay, actually a short par four here, one that we can make this easily. If you want to play it safe, you can. This all you can slope this all the way back. Usually with this big boy driver, you'll go long and you won't have too wild of a downhill putt. Still not good, but we're gonna go right at it. Maybe we can get a hole in one. That'd be something. Or we'll just perfect it or slow it and go straight into the water, whichever. No hole in one, but we'll have another eagle opportunity. So slope back. Just the shot we were looking for. Just like that. Shortest par four of the course. We have ourselves a chance. Add an eagle. Bring it home. Shit, I'm breaking off of my feet. No, nope, didn't break enough of my feet. Another birdie, though, which we'll take. Potentially another blow up hole. It works to a lot of people's advantage, though, with the way that they shoot. So, take that one in stride. Could definitely be a blow up hole. If you're worried about that, just play it left side green. And if you go off green... That's fine. You can always just chip it up, splash it up. If you stay on green, more than likely you're going to be a little bit long. And you, well, you'll you have a downhill putt, but you'll still have a chance at an eagle. So take it in stride. You'll be all right. So now if we're looking at this green, you know, if you've watched my course management video, we have the spots that we don't want to be. We don't want to be short. We don't want to be left. We don't want, definitely don't want to be in that bunker on the left side. Anything right is a little bit better. We have more green to work with. So if you're playing it safe, play it safe out here. Again, green isn't sloping too awful much. So if you play it safe, you still might be able to make a birdie. We're going to go at it because I don't know any better. And we're going to see if maybe we can plop in a hole in one. That'd be something. Not with the fast, we're not. Is she gonna go long? Let's see if we can maybe chip it in, though. Nice. Very fast it, which I didn't want to do. But, birdie's a birdie. We will take it. Ah, oh, it's too bad we got that bogey. But again, went off went off the fairway. That's all it takes. That is all it takes. I feel like a lot of people are going to be scrambling this week. Here's one, no matter how hard you hit it, it's going to be a long ass uh second shot, and you'll see. It don't matter. 316. Still got 219 yards to go. <laughs> no matter what, it's just a long, it's a long, long, long par four. Got to make up for all those short, or that one short par four that we had. Shot. 
Shorted it. Shorted it. A little bit of a tougher green to work with. I'm just scared to go long here because it's a nightmare putt. One of the few nightmare putts. Uh, so going long just scares the shit out of me. All right, bring her home. Damn. She broke a little bit more around nine feet from uh, where I was standing. Broke a little bit more than I thought it would. We still got our two putt though. Still got our par. We're going to try to keep this left, just to shorten this hole up. Um, you do have a little bit of protection back here. It does slope back a touch. If you get too far left, though, you'll get into the bunker and maybe even to these sunken trees. And it's a very, very bad shot coming out of that. So you really have to try to just stripe it right down the middle. Fasting it, you, you, you can just get into trouble really quickly on this hole. It may not look it, but it can happen. We're gonna bring a nice, cool, calm seven iron into this. I don't know how it got that far right. It's interesting. It's slightly unfortunate. Because that would have been good distance. Should have looked at my shot feedback. I guess I'll see it in editing. Maybe I pushed it. That line, the wind, that, that came, just came off really far right. Really like the looks of this hole. Especially from the tee. It's beautiful. It's our last par five. One that we can also make. We just got to keep a fairway. I'm trying to cut some distance off here by going far left. Perfect. All right. Here we go. Another chance to uh, get this close. What I've been doing, I've been drawing this ball in. Using like this part of the green. If you want to straight ball it in, you have to like hit it so where it lands like right here for it to bounce in because if it, it hits too solid here it just comes here and then rolls back but the good thing is is if you do end up short this putt isn't bad i've made it twice i just like to go for it a little bit i want to try to use this backstop a little bit uh i want to i want to get it up onto the second platform to have even an easier bird or eagle shot so that's what we're going to try to do I'm going to I'm going to draw this sucker in and see if we can get this to come up to the second level here. Which we do. A little further right than I wanted it, but we're up to the second level. We got a nice Eagle opportunity here. See if we can make it. Come on, baby. Give me that eagle. I want the super chicken. Stay high. Oh, <sighs> dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Birdie on every par five, though, which is very, very good. I'll take that. That was the last par five.
All of them's very scorable. Shorter tees, probably even more so. Uh-oh. We getting booted here? Oof. <laughs> I don't know what the heck that was. All right. Your next blow up hole potential. And it comes on the 17th. Fast it, you're dead. This this hole's actually kind of a nightmare with this pin position because if you end up here on the top, uh this this go down, depending on where you land it up here, where you end up, uh you have to hit it along this ridge and then have it like like if you end up here, you have to like hit it along this ridge and just watch it like slowly trickle down. If you try to go straight at it, it picks up a little bit too much speed and kind of runs off. I don't really like it too much. Um, uh, what I've been doing is I've just been trying to aim it, keeping it right about here, and just keeping it on this bottom platform. I don't want to take it too far left. I don't want to go at the hole because if I fast it, the ball's gone. So we're just going to play this. Try to play it for this, this line right here to keep it here on this lower level, but to avoid the water. And if we fast this, that's fine. Because if we fast it, we'll still be here left side green. Or maybe just off the green. The only thing we want to avoid here is a slow. What'd I say? Huh? What'd I say? Stay off the green. Oh uh, boy. You'll get to see this putt. <laughs> You'll get to see this putt. What I've been doing is I've just been playing it off and just watching it trickle back down to the hole. Um, th this putt's a, it's, it's an absolute nightmare. But what can you do? Here we are. Not hard enough. Not even close to hard enough. Save a par at least. That was not even close to hard enough. I need to get to like 30. It's a little bit different when you're closer to the to that drop off. That's okay. We'll take a par. And then we end on another blow up hole. Oh, blow up hole potential, I should say. Don't do what I'm doing right here. I did not want to fast this. I wanted to keep it perfect. Um, left side, if you get too far left, you have to work with this tree. And it's not fun. Uh, I definitely uh, fucked up a little bit there. Hopefully we can keep it underneath. Should be able to. Hopefully we don't slow it. Oh, we just touched the tree. That's all I was worried about. If you get it too far left, you hit that tree. God dang it, I thought I could get underneath it. This is not the way I wanted to end. Obviously. Oh, and we fast it. All right, we're going to have to save. We're going to have to make a pretty big putt here. Pretty big putt here. Try to save this par. Come on, baby. Break. Break. Darn it. Drop another one. Man, on 18. That sucks. Eight under. That back nine actually beat me up a little bit. Damn. Actually really sucks. But there it is. Scarlet Dunes Golf Club.
Uh, my biggest suggestion is score on the par fives. I think that you should make it, you know, your goal to to score on the par fives. At least two birdies, two of the four. Get birdies on them, as that will just help you round out immensely. Avoid at all costs blow up holes, and avoid at all costs going into the rough. It, it may not have looked too long in this round that I played, just because on a lot of the longer ones I actually hit fairway. But you saw the times that I did go off the fairway into the rough or the sand trap. That is almost every single par four on this course. If you go off, you're going to have a very, very, very long shot in. Sometimes you won't even be able to get it there. So you got to keep your fairway and regulation up this week if you want to score good at this course. That's all she wrote for this challenge circuit course guide. Go forth and conquer, everybody. I hope you do well. You have to let me know how you do. Good luck with your tournament this week. And we'll be back next week for another challenge circuit course guide. Thank you for stopping by, though. Greatly appreciate it. Hope you have a great rest of your morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. And we will catch you on the next one.